God, my stomach is digesting itself. Can can we digest some Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge? Can you feed that to us, Papa Mitch? Can can digest sh- this sh- dick? Sh- chew, chew it up in your in your mouth and <laughs> down our little baby bird throats, please. I was supposed to keep it in the freezer, but I put it in the fridge by accident. So I we'll see if it's still good. We'll see what? if it's still good. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What Tyler dumb? doesn't know me at all, but you know what I know is Yu-Gi-Oh cards. The comments would beg to differ, sir. I know some <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'll outline the rules of the game once again. I'm going to give you four card names, and one of them out of the four is a card name that I've made up myself. You'll have to just just tell me which one you think is fake. Let's get it started with round number one. Uh, the theme of round one is colors. I like colors. Sonic Colors. Okay, you cheered me up again. Your four <laughs> options are Dark Gray, Crubicle CEO Pten Scarlet, Seven Colored Fish, and RGB Rainbow Lucian. I'm going to need you to repeat that second one. Crubicle CEO Pten Scarlet. It's that one. I'm clocking in on that one. But like it's so specific, though. It's like, but it's trying too hard. Mm, you no, know, it's trying it's... a little too hard. Dark gray. Give me dark gray. <laughs> oh. The try uh, hardest color in the universe. The the only one that I know is real and true forever is the seven colored fish. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to choose RGB Rainbow Lucian because That's I really. Name really don't want that to be real blanket statement i'm gonna say just to initiate the flame war in the comments i think all of these are hot garbage and i can't wait to see how many people are going to take that statement and come up with a whole fucking fanfic backstory of how i wanted to be a pro Yu-Gi-Oh player and went to a tournament and got my ass beat by someone else and then i just made it my life's goal to i will never play Yu-Gi-Oh again because i am a child who is bad and now i just i hate Yu-Gi-Oh because it boils my blood thinking about how i could never be good enough i've i've played uh the app one time and the mechanics are bad that's my exposure to Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> You are so brave for finally admitting it, Tyler. I know, I know. So brave. So I know. brave. Thank you. So brave, Thank you, yeah. You know what was hot garbage? The DS Yu-Gi-Oh game. Funny thing is, Tyler is clearly a Yu-Gi-Oh master because he got the read on me immediately. I made up Krubicle <laughs> CEO in Scarlet. Fuck yeah, I actually love Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> I, I, because I was only going to hate it if that was real, and now... Oh. Mm-hmm. I really hate RGB Rainbow Lucian. <laughs> oh, I really I, hate that. Thing. There's a lot going on with that guy, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's too much. Well, oh my god, there's background characters. That yeah. monkey is like he's got some intent Which one? behind those eyes. The the gorilla. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That that smile though. Seven ends. colored fish just like looks like that fish. that rainbow scale fish, like yeah. children's book, but like yeah, it, it's yeah. called rainbow fish. It's rainbow fish. Sure. It, it's like that, yeah. but like kind of lo- long and scary. <laughs> Kyle, popcorn, popcorn, Kyle. Kyle. No, no popcorn here. I just I dark gray's uh first two words of his description are <laughs> entirely gray, <laughs> and it's not. And it's a lie. <laughs> It's just not <laughs> everything oh else. God. You know, everything else gets a pass for me this round. That card's <laughs> lying. That card's, That's fair. Oh this God. card's just lying to me. It's incredible. He's like a so, comment section. He just fucking makes shit. I, I wanna, I wanna <laughs> sprinkle a little backstory on the Krubicle because this was something I came up with uh, at work. Was an idea for an archetype of a crew of pirates who are also just a business. Oh, I uh, bionicles, dude. So, I really were so say it's bionicles. the crew and cubicle. Um, and then uh, I, my only other name I came up with was uh, Crubicle H. Arpenter Clark, which is like the HR and Carpenter. Mm. Wow. The the fact that this could easily translate to like a real Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, <laughs> the exact same thing. Very bothersome. <laughs> But like no, CE Open is what te- is what tipped me off because I was like, <laughs> that is such a stretch. That, like I don't even know if Yu Gi Oh could get away with CE. Oh Opton. no, they could. And they, they might. Would. They no, might. One hundred percent, they would. Round two. Uh, the theme for round two is rabbits, 
I know that we were such enthusiasts <laughs> of bunny ear enthusiast. Um, so I, I thought I'd, I'd bring it back for an entire round. Your options mm. are Dark Rabbit, Batlin Boxer Rabbit Puncher, Mecha Bunny, and Hair Trigger Gunner for Hire. That's so... Silly. Rabbit Puncher is aggressive. Because <laughs> I know that probably means it's a rabbit that's punching, but I just envision some dude just picking up a rabbit by the ears and beating the shit out of it. <laughs> I felt the urge once or twice, I'll tell you that much. (laughs) Oh, I know you did. I forgot what we were doing for a minute and had to reorient myself. I'm choosing Dark Rabbit. That's too straightforward. (laughs) I'm going to... I thought about Dark Grey, and I was wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but he just put Dark Grey and Dark Rabbit next to each other. I don't trust that. I am going to go with Hair Trigger Gunner for Hire, because that is radiating a kind of Mitch energy. (laughs) <laughs> um, if it is real, I hope it looks like Dante from Devil May Cry. Mm-hmm. But like, I just that, I I have a feeling that it's it's that a was going thing. to be my that was going to be my second choice. But I I, I need Dark Rabbit to not be real. I I kind of need Dark Rabbit to re- be real, just so the card can just say entirely dark, and it's like <laughs> it's rabbit. got a white tail. <laughs> <laughs> it is entirely just, rabbit. <laughs> what a, it's like a very small rabbit on like a field <laughs> like, yeah. it's like that's not entirely rabbit what it's actually um, gonna like, be is got... just a regular rabbit but he has like the eyes of someone who has lost everything and has nothing <laughs> left to yeah. to live for he just has it's like a that... very dark upbringing that's that's where the darkness no, it's a, comes from it's a regular rabbit but it's like a rabbit that has like the dog with human eyes thing like it's just <laughs> So what do you think, Kyle? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, yeah. Gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go Mecha Bunny. Mecha um, Bunny. A little, it's a little too uh, simple for my taste. Mm. That's very fair. That's very fair. Tyler That's has fun. figured out that the uh, the meta is just going for what he thinks I made up, mm-hmm. and not Let's actually go! thinking about Yu Gi Oh at all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The correct answer is hair trigger gunner for hire. Let's go. Oh, I've seen Dark Rabbit before. I've definitely. Oh, seen is that, that a Toon Monster? Yeah, that's. No, that's I think so. It looks no. like something Pegasus had. No, it's not a Toon Monster, it's but it does look that's like wild. It, it definitely looks. Like why? It. Why does Mecha Bunny say "love it" on its face? <laughs> yeah, that's so <laughs> weird question. Why? Also, I think really, it's. It's, it's really like the strange. Design a lot other than that it says love it. Love it's really it. strange that its thighs look like Exodia's, uh, like shoulder guards. <laughs> huh. That is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's certainly a thing. The the battle boxer rabbit thing, like the only way you can even tell it's rabbit is because of the leg shape. Mm-hmm. Um, but his ears must be really small to fit in that boxing cap. Or really uncomfortable. <laughs> also, is that hair back there, or is he just like sprouting carrots, like Marrow from X Men did? I think Super it's Saiyan like three. that episode of so Fairly Odd Parents where Timmy gets really old and all his hair goes to his back. Yeah. Cool. Oh wow, uh, that unlocked a memory. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Super god. Saiyan three. Round three is themed around holes because I know oh, how much of a hole lover too. you fellas are. Every round so far, I'm just, I love these themes, man. My favorite things. Your options are Dark Hole, Wholesome Reunion, Damn. Goblin Pothole Squad, and White Hole. I don't like that there's Dark Hole and White Hole. <laughs> wholesome Reunion. What are the odds that Dark Hole and White Hole are real? Hi. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. Goblin pothole squad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> oh, that was going to be my second choice. Yep. Uh, I mean, but here's the thing, right? Mitch just made a comment about how he's caught on. Mm-hmm, that I was mm-hmm. caught on to the bit that you have to pick the one that Mitch would make, and Mitch would make Goblin pothole squad. But what if he said that because he's trying to throw you off? 
he didn't he's not making the questions as we're taking it. He made this prior and I just happened no, to catch on no, to the he's trend. A, no, he's a smart lad. He <laughs> has a script. He knows when to say things to throw you off. Hey, he's done and this before, also, Tyler. It's fair. And he and he also knows that I would look at Dark Hole and go, that's the third dark thing that we've gotten <laughs> and now there's a there's a converse white hole that he has presented before <laughs> us as That's well fair so it would make me go ah obviously now it's dark hole but i'm on to you bitch and i think it's white hole i think it's your white hole <laughs> I, think it's, I think i think you're you're just coming in here and showing us your white hole and it isn't real it isn't real. You made up your white hole. It's not that white. <laughs> I would love to have a wholesome reunion with the darkness within your white hole. That's what I Kyle, want. No, no goblins Kyle... involved? You are the goblin. <gasps> That's right! <laughs> Very good! Kyle, uh, for a second, was that... Uh, <laughs> that Charlie Day meme from uh, <laughs> <laughs> just So you see! Oh my gosh, that's what I'm saying! So you see! The white hole! It can't be because the dark hole's there! When the dark hole's there, the white hole simply must be real! <laughs> but that's what you want me to think! <laughs> God, <laughs> I have craftily run Kyle around the entire country because the only card he didn't talk about was the correct answer. I made a I wholesome reunion. Fuck. <laughs> I wanted to do my bit where I say all the other ones and then go. So it's the one I didn't talk about. But I was like, I'm on to you, but now, I'm not on to you. Now, oh my God. <laughs> now, Kyle, I'm sensing some anger from you, which can only mean that you have a deep-seated hatred of Yu-Gi-Oh that was formed at a primitive age um, when someone beat your ass into the ground learning to play Yu-Gi-Oh for the first time, and you just couldn't cope Run. with how bad you were. Am I right? Is that is that now. the ties? I, to the I am. I was once a Yu-Gi-Oh master. Went to all of my local game stores because I had seven around me. I was the local champion, and and one day I lost after trying to craft the perfect deck. And when I crafted that perfect deck, a little chubby boy with a t-shirt came in. That t-shirt was stained with what I don't know. A white and he hole defeated me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the oh, art on oh, these no, is once boring, again. but I like the pothole squad. They're putting in the work. Also, there's a mole there. Yeah, no, Yu-Gi-Oh really likes putting goblins to work. Uh, <laughs> I imagine oh, the mole is the one that's that. making the potholes. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Does that mean that, like, okay, now there's, like, some deep lore here. Because they're <sighs> filling in gopher holes. Currently, like, the, the front goblin is, like, dumping in dirt into a hole. So he's trying to, like drown these gophers in in like dirt and mud mm. that's pretty fucked up we should call PETA. i don't i don't think no it's cool just this uh there is no goblin PETA. Oh. the goblins circumvent PETA. it's okay. a really strange loophole but like just the wording on the document so the reason that a white hole exists by the way is entirely to counteract dark hole dark hole destroys all monsters on the field white hole just protects yours from the effect so now that's good game design. It's a really situational <laughs> card. Damn, greatest game ever made. Am I right? <laughs> it was. It was created during a time where Dark Hole was an extremely oppressive uh, card. Oh, I can um, imagine. <laughs> if the if the effect is literally destroy all monsters on the field, I I wonder why that would be oppressive. <laughs> what a fun card to play around. Oh whoa, genocide's yeah. oppressive. Yeah. Man. That's crazy. But Yu-Gi-Oh's the greatest card game ever forged by mankind. Wow. Let's let's not. Tyler is really butthurt. Am I right, commenters? <laughs> Please give me my therapy session. Tell me why I tell me why I hate you. Your therapy session <laughs> comes in the form of round four. Fuck the yeah. theme is Yu-Gi-Oh cards whose names include uh, special symbols. Oh, so not like alphanumeric stuff. OK, oh, no. all right. Oh, no. All right. Your options are Dark Infant at Ignister. Success probability 0% doing crime, doing time. Oh. <laughs> and, <laughs> and live star twin channel. 
I, I, I want to kill myself. <laughs> I'm going to give the internet what it wants. I'm going to do it. I'm going to end my own life right now. Kill yourself on stream. It's the only way. <laughs> I can never go back and win that tournament, guys. <laughs> I can't do it. And I, I might have to do time hmm, for my doing crime. <laughs> oh my god! I uh, those are uh, I I I can't even fucking speak because I'm filled with so much confusion and hate. I um, can. I'm choosing doing crime, doing time. You pronounced it wrong. Right. Doing crime. <laughs> doing time. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. That was right. Um, I hate you. What? How do you pronounce at in ignister? Ignister, yeah. At ignister? At ignister? I simply have to go with success probability 0% because it seems like the one that would uh, be a real thing. Hmm. And thus it is it isn't i i get That's mitch true. i i get mitch vibes from two of these answers i see i see that's it one being dark infant adignister cuz that's a mouthful the other one is doing crime doing time <laughs> um just to be different because because nico already picked one of those i'll go dark infant at Ignister. But I, I really okay. do think it's crime time. Crime time. <laughs> I prefer doing doing. Um. <laughs> I prefer emoticons. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, I think that you should pick up um, fortune telling because you have prophesized your own success probability. The correct Good. answer is doing crime, doing time. Figured, mm. yeah. Should have gone yeah. with it. Yeah, no, that was too much code. It was too much code, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I hate Livestar Twin Channel. Yeah, that's... Why? Why? What's oh, that's wrong awful. With that? That's just a web page. It's a <laughs> shitty web page. <laughs> it is. It kind of looks like it, the Poyo Poyo menu, there. but like <laughs> mixed with a uh, fucking MySpace page. It's, it's literally a YouTube channel. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. <sighs> When a monster declares an attack, you contribute one key Sikil monster or one Lil La monster negate that attack. During the end oh. phase, you can target one key Sikil monster or one Lil La monster in your graveyard. Shuffle it into your deck. Or if you control no monsters, you can add it to your hand instead. That, that, uh, Adignister is Adding cool. has too much thigh game to be an infant. I'm just gonna leave it at that. What? Yeah, I'm not I sure mean. where they picked the the name infant. Can we? I I would like you all to take a look at success probability zero percent, and I want you all to look in the bottom left corner of the <laughs> picture and enhance. What is going uh -huh. on there? Which one are we looking at? Success probability zero percent. And I want you to look oh, in the bottom uh, left corner of the Watching art. a video feed of himself? Oh no, that's a picture of himself when he had hair. Yeah, and he's doing like a little, he's doing like the, like the diva pose. Like what? <laughs> he is doing the diva pose. Who he is. Who is he? <laughs> Am I right? Just like doing time and doing crime are opposite forces, the theme for round five is opposites. Your options are... Dark cat with white tail, shield and sword, high tide on fire island, and crack the earth, Thunder King. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell my girlfriend every time she has to go take a massive shit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you go wave. Crack the earth, Thunder King. <laughs> Break off a piece of that porcelain throat. <laughs> I need you. Break me up a piece of that kid, kid <laughs> boy. <laughs> I, I am going to use that all the time now. When someone has to go to the bathroom, I'm just going to look them dead in the eyes. <laughs> one fist in the air. Crack the earth, Thunder King. 
Sounds like a bit Olan Rogers would come up with. It really does. That's actually crazy. It really does. <laughs> oh my oh, god. I'm going, I'm going to use that on my girlfriend before this video comes out. I hope mm. you do. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I will I might, continue. I might do it <laughs> self-referentially. I might I might say, oh man, Thunder King gotta go crack the earth. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like declaring yourself the Thunder King is a little uh, pretentious. That, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's it's funny that way. <laughs> okay, High Tide on Fire yeah. Island is a euphemism for the wrong answer. Uh, I'm choosing that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make an STD joke, but sure. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. What? <laughs> Give me dark cat white tail, please. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, shield and sword. It's basic. I think you're just referencing Pokemon. Okay. Oh okay. You thought I might try to actually no. I'm pretty sure them. now that I say that I think that's a real card, and I'm gonna pivot. Um, I'm gonna go with. Oh, but I don't. I. Mm. You can pick the same thing as someone else. I know, but I don't want to. It's okay. I do it literally almost every round when I'm participating. I forgot, what, what, I forgot what the other people picked, though. <laughs> then pick. Coward. Dark cat with white tail. Okay. <laughs> no, you pick what I picked. You're going to get it wrong. Fuck! Uh -huh. It's true. It's Kyle's true an idiot! Kyle, Kyle's success probability is 0%. 0 0%. <laughs> I need people to understand we've been recording for a while tonight, and I haven't gotten a single question to ask <laughs> as we've recorded right. I am on legitimately 0% success right now. This is absurd. <laughs> I, I can't. Holy win. shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There are, this is the first oh. round where we don't have any points. Because oh. we got so caught up in the bit that no one picked Crack the Earth Thunder King. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I it has to be it. real for the bit. I want it so bad. Yeah, Sword and Shield. I remembered that like immediately after mm -hmm. yeah, saying it was yeah. fake. Um, um, Dark Cat with White Tail almost looks like Soul Eater. <laughs> huh. You know, I, I wouldn't go that far. I've been playing a lot of Persona 5 lately, and it kind of gives me like. If Persona Five was w was Good. different, <laughs> um, I've never played Persona. Don't. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I. I just I wanted to. Be in the comments below, in the comments. people have already asked us to do like Persona Shin Megami Tensei enemy mm -hmm. quiz. Um, <laughs> once I beat Persona Five, I'll I'll cook one up. I tied on Fire Island is. Biblical. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to describe that. I tied on fire. I uh, uh, so round uh, the bonus round. The last one. <laughs> we're moving on. What a what Jesus a transition! <laughs> Holy damn, shit! Damn, you go, Thunder King. <laughs> <laughs> Crack that new round wide open. <laughs> okay, I got fuck you. I got you, bud. <laughs> Shit, dude. The Holy theme God. for the last round tonight is <sighs> sleep. Every every everything inside me stopped entirely. Like actually, <laughs> yeah. all bodily this functions the ceased. <laughs> that was the moment. That was the moment Mitch lost it all. <laughs> is when he realized that the bit that we've been doing this entire time of us losing at tournaments. Is actually his backstory. <laughs> <laughs> we've been, we, we, we brought up his actual deep seated trauma. The one person here who's actually like played Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> it was us all along. Uh, yeah. Trying to re remind him wake up, Mitch. Wake up. <laughs> Crack oh, you your said my sleeper wake trigger up. word. <laughs> the bonus round, the theme for the bonus round is Masters of Their Artistic Craft. Oh. So I'm going to I'm going to provide you with pain painter, world weaver, spirit sculptor, and dark artist. Before dark we, artist. Wow. <laughs> I was going to say before I guess. Uh, can I have a score update? And is this worth two points because it's the bonus round? 
Oh, absolutely. Um, the score, I haven't been keeping track. And yes, it is worth two bonus points. You're a bad host. <laughs> <laughs> I had forgotten that that was my duty. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I do it, but I just forgot to like keep track. The score I... is Kyle has no points. Yes, that's we can all agree. True. Kyle has no Very, points. And that's all that matters, really. Um, mm-hmm. I think it's 2-2 uh, two, two on Kyle and Oh, that one ballerina wear. <laughs> No one picked Art Guard so I can tie you guys. Fuck it. Can this be three points, actually? Yeah, let's make it three. <laughs> Fuck it. Can the rest of the quiz not matter? And this is the only <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah. Can we just yes, wipe the slate help, clean? Dude. Zeros across uh, the board. Help. Cool. So I'm no, going to no, choose Dark Art. It's <laughs> I'm also going to choose Dark Art. Zero points tonight. <laughs> I'm giving you a chance not. to win it all. <laughs> I will not choose Dark Art. <laughs> uh... It's going to be wrong, so you made the right choice. Uh, Pain Painter? I'd like to go with Pain Painter. Pain Painter. Understood. Okay, the last two rounds, you and Kyle have both answered in ways that made it sound like you were on, like, The Price is Right or some (laughs) shit. Just like, or no, like, Jeopardy, like, oh yeah, can I get uh, Pain Painter for 400? Oh, like, The Price (laughs) is Right? What the? (laughs) Jeopardy. This is the first fucking. I would I would like to wager uh, seventeen dollars and one cent, please. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Bob Parker. Yes. That scared me. I wasn't ready. World Weaver, world World Weaver. You're going yeah. for World Weaver on this one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Someone rev up the game show music because we do have a winner. Yeah. <laughs> no, do you want to get sued? Holy shit! Anyway, it was really it's, short. It's, fine, fine. It's, it's Nico. World Waver is the fake card. Fuck! Uh, you put the dark archetype in all fucking rounds. <laughs> They're all real. You should, I hate you. <laughs> if there's one thing you should know about Yu-Gi-Oh, it's that they do not shy away. They love darkness. Darkness they is really their do. favorite thing. Wow, the art for Dark Artist I... really sucks. <laughs> I like it. Um, the art for pain, pain painter tracks. Um, <laughs> I don't. The Spirit brush sculpture. is like so stubby, though. Mm-hmm. So Spirit Sculptor is Zeus making one of the slimes from like Dragon Quest. Like, no, 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 no. It's no, him. No. He's he's making a Furby. That's like an early stage like <laughs> embryonic furry. Or Furby, furry? sorry. Furby, not furry. Hey, He's clearly yo. crafting a uh, crystal sculpture of Mumba. <laughs> I thought you were just about to, <laughs> <laughs> were just about to say me. crystal meth. <laughs> like I, I need you to know, I saw those eyes and I was like, what am I thinking of? And it was absolutely Mumba. <laughs> And I'm so happy you said it because it like gave me such happy relief. Oh my god. Oh my talking. god. Join I, me. I think I just shit my pants. <laughs> Crack the earth, Thunder King. 